Hey, it's Jim here, and a very warm welcome to week one, part one of the Home Workout for Beginners course. I hope you're as excited as I am to get cracking with this, and I'm really looking forward to hearing of your success. In week one, we'll look at a very important part of fitness success that's far too often overlooked. Taking the time to plan is a must if you really want to succeed and achieve outstanding fitness results. The planning and prep part is that important that everything that we do in week one is pretty much planning. So if you're serious about earning real fitness and weight loss achievements and creating a sustainable long-term plan that will give you visible results, it's a good idea to look at your first week's training as a time of planning and prep. Now I know a lot of people will want to skip past this part and get right onto the stretching of bands and the fat burning cardio and the actual physical stuff, but please do not skip this part. Look, I can't stress that enough. And please don't look at these, um, I'm going to call them sit down and chat sessions as being an optional part of your home workout fitness success. I'd like to steer you into looking at them as part of the progression, meaning that your first few sessions will actually be sitting down and having a chat with me or listening and following along with what I talk about. After all, this is what any personal trainer should do in an introductory session with a new client. So another way to look at these sessions is that there are three elements needed to create a winning fitness story. There's mindset, exercise, and diet. And you probably bought the course for the exercise element alone, but I'm giving you the other two as well. You should treat these mindset sessions and the sit down and chat sessions that we're having now as you would treat the physical exercise sessions. Instead of working out, developing the body, we're exercising and developing the mind. And you've probably heard it all before, but uh, fitness achievements are 90% mindset. So that's something to think on as well. But I am going to help you unlock some very powerful tools that will really set you in a better standing than you probably would be if you had invested in a traditional personal trainer, for instance. And what's easier than sitting down with me and a cup of tea and having a think about your journey? Not a lot, but know that what you are about to go through in the next few sessions and any of these sit and chat sessions that we do in the future is going to set you up for real fitness success. So in this particular sit and chat session, we're going to plan our road to fitness success. Now, what will we cover in this section? We'll cover why you should never doubt yourself and doubt what you can achieve. Why it's so important to take the time to plan and track. Finding your motivation, making your motivation stick and grow. So first things first, you should never doubt yourself and what you can achieve. I want to make it clear that everyone has doubts. If you've tried a lot of weight loss diets, exercise routines and general fitness ideas in the past but never had results, I understand that the doubt will be all the stronger. But the fact that you're here shows that you haven't given up. So if this sounds familiar, I want this to be the last time you ever doubt yourself and what you can achieve. Now I also realise that it's easy for me to simply tell you to never doubt yourself and believe in what you perceive to be unbelievable. But I'm going to anyway, and uh, I'll also ask that at this stage that you trust me when I say you can become better than you think you can. So throughout these sit and chat sessions, we'll be developing our mental robustness, positive attitude, and generally working towards building a winning mindset. So by the time you've been through the whole course and put this into practice for a short time, You'll have a great level of mental robustness and a mindset that can deal with any doubt or setback. Now this is really important for any level of fitness progression and with this in place, your whole life will be enriched. And I'm such a big advocate of this stuff because I've got first-hand experience. So if you've never identified with self-doubt before, it is actually important to learn when you are doubting yourself and see this. If you can see when this self-doubt shows itself, you can shut it down right away. See, I see self-doubt as a poison. So 
if you find at any point in this course telling yourself that you can't do a certain exercise or you're wondering why you're even bothering to do the physical training or even the sit and chat sessions, you've identified self-doubt and you should ignore it and shut it down right away. Anyway, as mentioned, this is one of the negative entities that we are working to guard against in these sit and chat sessions. So that was just a heads up on self-doubt and I thought I'd start with this because I know from experience that self-doubt is responsible for the abandonment of so many otherwise successful fitness stories. You can do this, you can achieve your fitness goals, whatever you're thinking or you're led to believe. So now that you're aware of the danger of self-doubt, before we move on, I'll tell you now that this will pop up again later in a more practical exercise. So just treat this as an introduction for now. So let's move on to the next part. So why is it so important to take the time to plan and track? If you plan when you're gonna do what you're going to do, you will do it. Now this is a really deep subject, but I'm gonna pick out on the main points and, and try to keep it brief but relevant. So to break this down, most people think they lack motivation to work out, but what they are actually missing is implementation and structure. For example, there's a very well-known study or several very well-known studies that took a bunch of people, split this group down further into three separate groups. Group one was told to exercise and simply track how often they exercised over the next week. Now out with this group, 38% actually worked out. The second group was told to do the same but they were also given a motivational lecture beforehand and a bit of insight into the health benefits of exercise and they got sent on their way. Now about the same amount, 35%, a little bit lower but I think that's negligible, of this group actually worked out. The third group was told to do exactly the same, track their exercise they were given the same motivational spiel as group two, but they were also told to write down and fill out this sentence. During the next week, I will exercise for at least 30 minutes a day on this day at this time of day and this place. So by doing this, they had effectively given themselves a goal and a plan. 91% of this group actually worked out. Now there have been many studies on this philosophy and I am 100% behind it. So this is what I want for you. I want you to get the most out of this training and I want you to be on the same page as the 91% in group three of the study. And this is why we are taking the time to plan. As you can see, this is a really powerful tool and by all accounts, it's worth doing. So the next point, by doing this, you'll create a clear path to walk down. Now, if you've got a plan, you have a direction and some rules to follow. It's easy to just start off on a fitness journey by saying, well, I'm gonna do my workouts when I have time, or I'll find something healthy to eat when I need to eat. Well, guess what? You'll never have enough time to work out. And if you don't plan ahead, you're more than likely opt for the easy choice when it comes to food choices. And if you start out on this path, we all know what to expect. Now, when it comes to actually achieving visible results from a fitness routine, and this is what I am all about, planning and prep are one of the most important things that you can do if you really want these results. So next point, planning will help you with mindset, and mindset is your driving force. So take this part seriously. I know it might feel counterintuitive me telling you to sit down, think and fill in a bunch of forms. And if it does, try looking at it as this being your first training session. Mindset plays a huge part in fitness and weight loss. So please trust me, this stuff can be life changing. If you have a good level of mental robustness, you'll be able to handle the setbacks that pop up. And yes, there will almost definitely be setbacks. Whether you're a beginner to weight loss and fitness or a professional athlete, you will get setbacks. And if you're not prepared to be able to overcome these, 
this can be where your journey ends and I don't want that for anyone, especially you. It's up to us as individuals to find a way to overcome these setbacks and that's what we need to prepare for right from the start. Oh, that was pretty easy. Nothing got in my way and it was a pretty smooth ride for me, said no one ever when they achieved any type of fitness result. Fact. So yes, you will hit problems, but this planning part of the course will help you deal with them and build your mental robustness. I've said it many times before, but it's worth saying again, that achieving a fitness goal can build great strength of character and enrich your whole life. And this planning a mindset part of the course will help you create a really powerful tool. So let's move on to finding your motivation and keeping it. How do you do that? So the first thing we need to do is think and be 100% honest with ourselves. The more honest we can be, the more we get out of it. So grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper. Yes, a pen and a piece of paper, not an iPhone note, nor a tablet or Word document, a physical piece of paper. The reason for this is that on a digital document, you can file it away in your notes somewhere. They're out of sight and buried in other virtual data. You filed it away, you've put it in a drawer basically, or in a pile of other papers if you like. A physical note is in your face, it's real, and this is what we need. Now feel free to pause it here if you need to and go and find one. I'll always be here waiting. Now this is important stuff. So once you have your piece of paper, write down, why do I want to do this? Across the top of the page or as a title and then list as many reasons as you can think of and be really honest with yourself. Remember, it's just you seeing this. So if the truth is embarrassing, it doesn't matter. If the truth hurts, this is good. It means you're now creating a very powerful reason. And always remember that this is your journey. So make it your reasons. And I personally know you have a good reason to do this because you are here listening right now, but I've done this with people before. And I'd like to share some of the reasons that have come up before and what other people have said to give you an idea of how deep this stuff can go. So here's a bunch of reasons that have been used before. I want to lose weight so I can see my children grow up. I want to be able to play with my children without getting tired and out of breath. I want to fit into the dress I wore on my wedding day again. I hate the way I look without clothes on. Every day I'm embarrassed by my weight. I don't want to hit my 40s and be out of shape. I'm depressed by my unhealthy lifestyle and I know I need to change. I want to live longer. I want to be more attractive. I want to run a marathon next year. I want to beat my addiction to alcohol. I want to build a bodybuilder's physique. As you can see, these reasons are pretty diverse and what sounds like a trivial reason to some or even most can actually be the fuel that drives that person to complete success. So this highlights how important it is for you to pinpoint your specific reason. In my experience, if anyone is to find success on a fitness or weight loss journey, it has to be that person who wants the result. It's very rare that someone will earn great results from fitness when it's based on someone else's reason for doing it. I've personally had people approach me and ask if I can help one of their family members or close friends lose weight because they're worried about their health and as much as I'd love to say, yes, I can do it, let's get started. I know that in reality, I have to say, yes, I can do it, but do they actually want to do this themselves? The best thing to do is to get your friend, family member to contact me. On a side note here, if this is a familiar situation that you're in, meaning that you're concerned about someone you know's health and you wish they'd find a passion for wanting to work out and get fit or whatever, I know it can be difficult to bring up this subject for fear of offending or starting an argument. A good way around it is to suggest that you make the journey together. You, I mean, you can even sit down and take this course together. Well, there'll, there'll be a lot less sitting down later in the course, but you, you know what I mean. 
having a training partner can be great for so many reasons, like accountability being one of them, but we'll get into that next. So anyway, back to your reason. Okay, so take some time now and write down your reasons for wanting to do this. Remember to be as honest as you can. The deeper you dive, the better, and the more powerful your reason will be. Now, if you're finding it hard to get started, just think about how reaching your goal will make you feel. How would you want to look and what would you want to achieve? Some people find this harder than others and some will actually have a single reason written down within a few seconds. But remember, this is your journey and it will be different from everyone else's. So this is your time to reflect and your time to find your reasons. Now, this will become a big part of your journey, so get it written down. Feel free to pause and take the time if you need it. This reason is your motivation, and once you have pinpointed it, written it down, created a visual aid, and followed the rest of these sit-down and chat sessions, you'll be safeguarding it and not only keeping your motivation, but using it as one of your main tools on your journey. So let's move on to the next point, making your motivation stick and grow. Once you have your reason written down, you now need to turn it into something visual. Now words are great and this can actually be enough depending on that person's reason, but sometimes it may be better to put into a picture. Or if you're feeling particularly creative, you could create variations of both. So I'm going to pick a few reasons that we've already mentioned and use these as examples. And if your reason is something like, I want to be able to play with my children without getting tired and out of breath, or I want to fit into the wedding dress I wore on my wedding day again, you could easily turn this into a visual aid by taking a picture of you and your children playing, for instance. Or if your reason is similar to the wedding dress one, you could take a picture of your wedding dress or even use a picture of you from your wedding day. And this is a visual aid that represents your reason and the more you can connect with it, the more powerful it will be. You could also use the actual words or sentence that you've written as being your reason. If you're going to do this though, I suggest that You have it printed off in block capitals or spend some time making it look striking and in your face. So I'll say it again. I know that this might may sound like a waste of time or a bit silly, but please trust me, it is very powerful. And in my opinion, it really does make for a solid foundation to anyone's fitness journey. If you're thinking that you just want to get started lifting weights and running off fat stores, so you want to skip this. Again, I'll say try looking at these sit-down sessions as actual training sessions, because this is what they are. If you still need convincing, understand this. Earning fitness and weight loss results is 90% mindset, and these sit-down sessions are all about mindset. You're working on developing a winning mindset that will carry you over the finish line. So that brings us to the end of this session. Before the next session, you should have your reason all sorted and set up as a visual aid because we're going to be using it to build our fitness success chart. In the next session, you guessed it, we're going to be creating a fitness success chart and we'll also be further building our motivation. We will lay out our own plan. When will we work out with cardio and resistance training? We'll work to develop mental robustness. We'll work on our winning mindset and plan this in. We'll also add mini goals to make us even more successful and a bunch more stuff in there. So get thinking about your reasons, writing them down, creating visual aids, and I look forward to moving on to the next session. Once you've got all this in place, I'll see you there.